Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're still having a wonderful day. Well, I'm back. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by on the last day of 2021. It's been a phenomenal year and it's going to be a phenomenal 2022. I'm hopping on again today because I wanted to go ahead and wrap up the Dollar Tree series so that we can go ahead and roll in our 2022 awesome paper crafting. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some non-traditional things that you can find at Dollar Tree that are also helpful in our paper crafting. So let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap up the best of Dollar Tree series that we've been doing all week. And I've been focused on bringing you five inexpensive things that make our crafty life better. I have five more non-traditional things that I'm going to share with you, and they also are very beneficial in crafting. So when you're in the Dollar Tree, don't just focus on the craft section. Visit the other departments as well because they do have some things that we can take and pull into our crafting. For instance, I use these all the time and I think that they're eight ounces. They might be 16 ounces. I've already taken them out of the pack and I can't remember the weight on these, but they're your basic condiment bottles that you might find in a restaurant holding the ketchup and the mustard. Here's how I use mine. My reptile glue actually comes in the one gallon jugs. Well, I'll take that gallon jug and then transfer it to these bottles so that I can store these bottles, grab one when I need it, and then I use this bottle as a way of refilling the smaller bottles. And I'm sure that with all of the things that I'm showing you, there are probably other crafty ways that you're finding to use them. If you are, leave a comment below and let us know how you're using some of the things that I've shown in my videos. And if you have other things that you've found at the Dollar Tree to be helpful, leave that comment as well because it might help others. So in a previous video, I did show the black and white poster board, but I happened to be in the Dollar Tree the other day and I saw this poster board and I thought it was perfect for Valentine's crafting. So it's the same 11 by 14 poster board, but it's got the printed heart border all the way around. So if you happen to be in Dollar Tree and you see this, go ahead and grab some because you might enjoy crafting with it for Valentine's Day. And then in the party section, I've actually used these before. I don't know if I've ever shown them on the channel, but these are paper doilies and it's a 32 piece set. And there are four sizes, you get eight of each size. These are perfect for using in our crafts. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to do a Valentine's Day craft. Well, I'll pull one or two of these in to use it on the craft, but I know a lot of you use lace doilies in your crafting, and a lot of you use paper doilies in your crafting. If you haven't already picked some up from the Dollar Tree, go ahead and grab them, because this really is a great deal for a dollar. And in some cases, it might be a dollar 25, depending on your store. Fortunately for me, my Dollar Tree is still truly a Dollar Tree. And then we're going to go to the automotive department. Now I showed you guys the round circular disc um, Velcro dots that they sell in the craft section. Quite a few of you left comments telling me to check out the square ones in the automotive section. So they have them in black and in white. You get 16 pairs in each pack. And I haven't tried these, but if they're in the automotive section, I'm thinking that they might be super, super strong, but what I like about these is that they are so large, you could actually take one set and divide it into four so you're able to make these go a long, long way. Because when you take one and cut it into fourths, it is probably about the same size as those circular discs. So if you happen to be in Dollar Tree, check out that automotive section because they do have Velcro fasteners there as well. And finally, in the automotive section, this is something that I have used on the channel before, but the one I was using came from Lowe's. This is a sanding block, and I like to use the sanding box just to age and distress some of my projects. It has that rough feel, and it's a medium to fine grit, but when you take it and you go along the edges of your paper, if your paper is a white core, you can bring out that white 
inside and remove some of that color. You can rough up the paper with this just to give it more of an aged look. So if you don't have one of these, go ahead and pick one up, whether you pick it up from the Dollar Tree or your home improvement store, go ahead and pick one up because this truly is a great thing for us to have in our crafting toolbox. So I am going to bring all of these back in so that you can see the final goodies that I want to share with you guys from the Dollar Tree. There are so many more and I'm sure that I left out a lot of things and a lot of you will be making mention in the comments of various things. Please feel free to share those because like I said, you'll be helping out so many others who might be looking for ways in 2022 of getting some quality items to craft with without breaking the bank. And then there's one honorable mention that I want to make on this video, the rub-ons. Look at these gorgeous rub-ons that you can get in the craft section and it's from the Crafters Square collection. And for those of you who aren't familiar with rub-ons, these images that you see here, you can actually cut them out and then lay them down on paper, on wood, on canvas, on plastic. And then all you do is take your bone folder or the little popsicle stick that normally comes on the inside and you just rub across and rub across until the image that is here transfers to whatever it is you're trying to place it on. And then on the back, you can see how they have used the rub-ons just to transfer images from something like this into this. So I also consider this a great little find because I've seen rub-ons at Dollar Tree before, but I've never seen any as gorgeous as this particular sheet here. So that's it. We have wrapped up the best of Dollar Tree 2021. I look forward to crafting with you guys in 2022. I hope that everyone has an awesome New Year's Eve and let's be safe, let's be kind, let's regroup in 2022 to take our paper crafting to the next level. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.